Hello boys and girls and welcome to today's video. It's Flint here from Backyard Blasters and today we're taking a look at the HK MP5A5. So yes, what you're looking at here is an airsoft gun. This isn't a, uh, a gel ball shooter or a foam dart gun or any type of nerf gun. This is indeed a BB gun. Now how did I get hold of one of these? Well that is because right now I'm actually in Germany and so I've had the opportunity to uh, review one of these bad puppies so uh, here it is in its box, uh, on the front here, it just says no compromise, you've got a picture of the MP5 there, it says here 1000 shots per minute, dual power airsoft, so this runs off uh, a battery or you can manually cock it back here um, with the bolt sled there, it says powered by Umarax, here it says 0.5 joule, that's the amount of uh, energy, uh, the power of the blast, uh, the power of the airsoft gun, uh, some other features it mentions here, metal barrel, metal internals, uh, rear sight, it does have hop up that you can adjust, semi auto, full auto, magazine holds 200 rounds, of course it shoots 6mm plastic uh, BBs and it is an authentic replica. So let's have a quick look on the back, quite nice details here on the back. Um, it's just showing you where some of the switches are. The stock is also extendable, so uh, that is quite handy because this is compact, that's why I quite like this one because it's uh, it can actually yeah, when it folds down, it's actually quite compact. So let's uh, go ahead and open this up. All right, so inside the box, first of all, we've got just some safety uh, notes here and the instructions on how the uh, gun functions, just there. So I'll just put that aside. Here's the gun itself. So you can see there. Then you have the magazine, uh, followed by the ammo and the charger. Now the battery uh, was in here but I've already installed in the uh, airsoft gun and charged that up uh, earlier so that it's all ready to go. Alrighty guys, so now looking at everything in the box. Um, so first I'll go over where the battery goes. So on the front grip here, you actually just push this clip through. That pops out. What that does is that holds this front uh, grip on. That slides off and there is your battery and I'm pretty sure it's two Double A batteries, um, I think they're NICAD or Lithium, um, I'm not too sure on that one. They simply uh, sit in under here, you remove this plastic clip and then once you've slid the batteries in, you put that back on and clip it on to secure it. So you place that back over the front and slide the pin through there. And Bob's your uncle, you're ready to go. Now we'll take a look over the, uh, the gun itself. So to extend the stock, you simply push this It'll come out one click, and you've got to push it. There it is, fully extended. The magazine simply feeds up into the mag well, and then it is loaded. Now, I haven't actually loaded the magazine though, so it's, it's not technically loaded. So, the front, you've got the front iron sight, the rear iron sight. Uh, there is a spot on here if you wanted to attach uh, a, another accessory. On the top here, it says HKMP5. It's got a little uh, number there. The rear iron sight, you can actually turn that and that will change the size of the hole. Um, so that's quite snazzy. Here, this is your fire selector switch. You've got full auto, semi, and then uh, safety. So when firing in this mode, uh, the dual power system, you can either cock that back and then pull the trigger, or you can use a semi-automatic feature and just pull the trigger in. So I'm just dry firing it now. Uh, and then the full auto. Now I'll just show you um, a quick shooting test from outside when we were firing it with uh, the magazine loaded. So right now the trick is locked, you just got to switch that across. Um, so now you can either manually fire it uh, by cocking back the slide, um, or you can just pull the trigger for semi-automatic. And then for full auto, you just flick it across. All right, so on the other side, um, here is where you adjust your hop-up system. If you don't know what the hop-up is, that's to adjust how much spin is put on the uh, BB. So you can either slide it up or down, like so. This side, the selector does not move. And another thing to mention, there is a spot here where you can uh, clip a bandolier or a sling to, and then the same goes at the front. Now, which parts are metal? Uh, this part of the body is plastic, that part's the magazine is also plastic. Uh, the 
stock here, that is all metal. And the back end here is metal as well. The front bit is plastic, and as it says on the box, inside there are metal uh, components. Now for my overall opinion, uh, the biggest quarrel I had with the uh, airsoft gun was that when using the full auto mode, because it shoots so uh, fast, often you have to keep twisting the magazine down here to uh, feed the BBs back up. Obviously that can get a little uh, tiresome, but uh, that's just what you have to do. I'm sure you can buy other magazines that are bigger capacities that would solve that problem. That's one thing I hadn't mentioned is the magazine. There is a little cog here. You just have to rotate and that feeds the BBs up uh, in the magazine. So the BBs, it comes with a six millimeter 0.12 grams. Looks like there's maybe a hundred in there. I think the 0.2s work better, uh, but it does come with some 0.12s. So yeah guys, it's the first airsoft gun I've ever had the um, opportunity to unbox and review and play with. So uh, it was a lot of fun. That's all for today's video. We will see you in the next one.